Hey everybody, it's Sharon again with another video. I wanted to go over today custom orders with me. Um, a lot of people like to custom order because they have a specific type of hair color they like or a specific length they want or a cap size they want or a density they want and not always do I have something that you want in stock. So just a background information, my name is Sharon. My website is toppersbysharon.com. My Instagram is Highline Wigs. Um, so we'll just dis this will be just a quick video discussing the whole process of a custom order, how long it's going to take, what you need, what information I need from you, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So first things first, that I need to know the cap size. Um, I made a video a few days ago that I posted that goes in details on how to measure cap size and length. But if you want me to just go over that again in this video, I will. We need a measuring tape for cap size. Now I'm wearing a full wig right now, so I'm I can't really help, I can't really show it on my head so much, but. You basically want to measure, let's say you have a 6 by 7 cap, it will be 6 across and 7 back. Um, so that's how you measure your cap size, and then you, that's how, here, it will be 6 across and 7 down. This one, for example, the 5 by 5, but just 5 across and 5 down, but just so you get a better idea. Here is a 6 by 7. So, again, you just go 6 by 7. Um, you can go to my other videos and you can see me going into it more in detail, but that's what information I'm going to need from you. I need to know the cap size, where it's going to clip it on your head. If you need coverage in the back, you're going to need a big, bigger cap in the back. For example, like a 7 by 8 or an 8 by 9, depending on how much hair you need. If you just have overall thinning and you just want more volume and length, a 5 by 6 would be good for you. A 6 by 6 would be good for you. Maybe even a 6 by 7 would be good for you. But if you actually have bald spots or, or hair in the back that you can see scalped, then I would definitely suggest going for a bigger cap because the hair in the back, for example, a small cap like this, won't always conceal. If you if the hair blows in the wind, you know it won't it won't cover any like patches of balding over here or extreme thinning in the back. Again, you can go into my other videos for more detail on that. Um, next would be color. Color is a little bit difficult because, you know, there's different monitor settings and different, you know, I see things different than what you see, especially in pictures. It's, it's hard not picking a color, not seeing it, um, you know, face to face. So I have a lot of pictures on my Instagram that I've made for, in the past, for either for clients or for my stock pieces. So what I like to do is that if you see a color in my Instagram that you like, that you feel like would work for you, that would be the best way to go about it because, I know the colors I've used in it, I know what it's like, I can, you know, it's easy for me to just make you a topper that's very close to that. Every topper that's colored, for example, a blonde like this, has different highlights rooting in it, it won't always look the same, it's not going to be exactly the same as, as it is in person, I cannot guarantee that because, you know, it's highlights, I can't just, you know, make it exactly the same, we're not cloning it. Um, but we try our best, we use the same colors and we try our best to get it to be that same color. So if you don't see a color on my Instagram that matches that, that, that matches your hair, there are a couple other options. You can either send me pictures, and I can try to figure it out via pictures, but a lot of times pictures don't show the true color either. You know, either it's like too red, the flash, the lighting in the room, too bright outside. It's, it's a little bit difficult. Um, another way, but I've done it before, and I've mostly got it right. Sometimes it you know, did come off wrong, but that's what we could do. Another method that we could do is that you can send me a sample of your hair. Um, best to do one whole sample, one from like, you know, the root, because a lot of times people have hair on the bottom that's lighter than the hair on top of their heads. So it's best to get a whole piece because a lot of times, this is a wig, so I can't really explain, but this will be lighter than the top. Just from like, you know, the sun and dryness, it just, it just happens that the bottom is lighter than the dark. So you can send me a piece and I can, I can match it to my color swatching and I can try my best to, find, to match you like that. Another way would be for you to rent one of my color rings. I have a color ring. Right now they're all sold out and they're going to be sold out a lot. I try to make many available, but you could rent them or buy them and a lot of my clients happen to just buy them and not return them, which is fine, but it just takes me a while to make more of them. And I like to focus more on custom orders rather than making a lot of color rings. But I hope to make some more um, in the future and you can rent one of those them out and like, match your hair to it and you can add highlights you can do whatever you want you'll see my whole coloring so those are the way best ways for me to pick out color for you or for you to pick out color for yourself and um next what i would need to know is the length so the best way to, be, to measure your hair would be from the center scalp again this is a wig but center scalp all the way down which would be from this one about 22 inches 
So that's what you're going to need. I would suggest going an inch or two more than what your hair is because sometimes you don't measure well enough or sometimes you want to give it a little bit of a cut and you want, it's actually important to get, to get your toppers cut once in a while because I cut it raw. So they just put on the they just put on the hair. So sometimes the ends come out a little bit dry. Not always. This is, but like it's always healthier in the long run to get a trim right away. Um, I personally don't. I've I've had this wig for three years and I just gave it a trim um, about six months ago. So the hair my hair lasts, but you know if you you, you should get it trimmed once in a while. Um, so yeah, if you're measuring your hair as in 22 inches, I would suggest going for 23 or 24 inches. I usually measure in even, so. If you're between 22 and 23, go for 24. Unless you want to cut your own hair to match. Um, you can go longer. A lot of people ask me, can I go longer? If you want to go longer, you need a big cap. A small cap will show it. For example, oh, this is not longer than my wig, so I can't really show it on this one. But if you have a 5 by 6 it's, you're going to see your own hair underneath. That's, like, shorter. You can go one, one inch or two inch shorter um, for your own hair. Um, but not more than that because then it would be a little bit obvious. And you don't ever want to have your topper shorter than your own hair. Unless you have like some sort of like fun cut where there's a lot of different layers going on. And you can somehow blend your topper in to do that. Otherwise I don't usually suggest it. Um, and the last thing will be density. Whether you want a lot of hair, not so much hair. I make my toppers with a nice amount of density. It's, you know, pretty full. This is a 6x7 cap. It definitely has enough coverage. A lot of my clients think it has too much coverage. This is about 120 to 125%. I'm actually starting to make them go lower starting in, I think, April. I'll be having short um, caps of about 110 to 115% density. Um, don't compare my density to other companies. Density is a very thrown out word. If you see that some company has 130% and it looks like it's half my hair, that's exactly why I'm telling you not to, com not to compare my hair to other companies. But... Just so you know, this piece right here is about 120 density, so if you want to go less than this, you can tell me if you want 95%, 100%. It is pretty thick. Um, I also make my fronts with, you know, some baby hairs. You can't really see it, but there's a little bit of baby hairs in the front. I do said there's a natural front. Um, slick top cappers, well, silk cap toppers. <laughs> look best when they're worn at the front, in my opinion. If you find a way to make it look good wearing it a couple inches back, great for you. Some of my clients do that, but I personally like it wearing at the front because a lot of times when you wear, you know, this kind of scalp and you have a more thin, thinner scalp, you kind of can see the transition between the two. Unless you make some sort of zigzag and, like, you put your hair over it, there's, there's different ways you can do it. So that's the last thing I need. I need to know how much density you want, whether you want a lot, a little, etc. So those are the most important things I need for a custom order. Cap size, color, length, density. And if you have any other specific requests, like lace, do you want a lace front? A lot of people like lace fronts. I personally do not. Um, I'm, because I make myself my pieces with a natural front, if you are used to lace fronts and you like lace fronts, or you tried on a piece with lace fronts and you like it, no problem, I can do it for you. We can use either Swiss or French lace, up to you. You can look up those differences online. Um, I can do bleach knots, I can do not bleach knots. Everything's, the options are endless. You just let me know exactly what you want. If you need a pulley strip topper where they want the pulley strip in the front, we can do that for you. We, may, we have certain caps that we can do the pulley strip all around. The pulley strip toppers are those for those who glue or tape on their toppers, on their heads. So that we can do as well. Just trying to think of what else that we can do. Most of my top, I, I sell silk top. Um, silk top toppers right now. Um, if you'd like mono, I don't know why you would. I love the fact that it's lightweight. I personally don't like mono toppers, but if you like mono toppers and you want me to make you one, I can do that for you as well. I can do lace toppers. I can do anything basically, but I like silk top best. It is a little bit warm in the, in the summer because there are, there is this fabric, but I'm actually going to be creating a summer lightweight silk topper that should be coming out in May. Um, that's all. Hopefully this gave you a better, you know, summary of how to custom order with me. Oh, just one more thing. Length times. Um, the time it takes to make the custom toppers. Right now it's taking about two and a half months. Um, sometimes it's longer. If you know, if there's 
holidays. For example, Christmas and New Year's just happened. Um, we were delayed by two weeks. So um, it's best to um, custom order. If I'll say something, if you want to save up for it, custom orders. Let's backtrack a little bit. Custom orders cost $100 deposit, and you can pay the balance when um, it's complete. A lot of people like to pay the balance over time or um, all, to, all in the beginning at once. Either one is either one is fine. I could, you know, I'll make another video just discussing that how to do payment options um, for custom orders. Um, so length time to do it. Let's say you're just doing a natural dark color, like this. Something like this would take about six to seven weeks. Um, because we're not doing anything. All we're doing is, you know, taking the hair and sewing it onto the cap. There's no processing. We don't do any. We don't do any acid baths or anything crazy to the hair. Um, so if it's just a dark natural color. We just have to, you know, this is all hand tied, this whole silk area. Then we add wefts to the bottom, so that does take about, you know, several weeks to do. So this is probably the quickest kind of topper to make. It's about six to seven weeks, sometimes longer. Don't mark my words. I, I write on my website, you know, nine to 12 weeks, sometimes longer. Um, but for example, if you need a blonde piece, it's going to take some more time. It's going to take a lot more time because we actually dye the hairs. And we don't dye the hairs after we sew it onto the cap. We dye each individual hair beforehand, and then we sew on each individual hair onto the cap. And we need to strategically do it that the highlights match up and the highlights look good. So we like to take our time to do this. Um, we don't like to rush any work because rushed work is not good work. Trust me on that. I've seen you know companies pee hair and caps that just fall apart after a few washes, and you just don't want that. So please do not rush me. It's going to... It's going to all be beautiful at the end, and it's definitely worth the wait. If you're curious to know what I'm wearing, I am wearing a hand-tied full wig. started actually off at 26 inches, but I got it three years ago, and it's now, um, I cut it about 22 inches. I cut some layers and angles into it. I cannot tell you what color it is because I actually took it to a salon and added a pretty balayage on it. Um, so I don't know, it's kind of a, like a caramelly color. But yeah, if you go for a natural color like this and you go to a salon or a hairdresser and she knows what she's doing, she can make you a really pretty color on this because the natural colors lift. My lighter colors don't lift. Some of my clients somehow got them to lift magically. I don't know how they did it, but you know, I've never tried. Um, I don't, I'm not recommending trying it, but my clients, you know, did and they got good results. They can always be darkened. If you want to add low lights, a darker root, um, they can always be darkened, but lightened might ruin the hair. So I'm gonna stop talking about this already, um, but I'll make a few. I'll make more videos discussing more um, information. My next video that I'll be making right now, actually, will just be like payment options for custom orders. Hopefully, this video gave you a little more insight on how to custom order for me, and I look forward to working with all of you individually. Bye. Have a good day.